Good morning, it's September 15th, and wow, is it cold this morning. I think we hit close to zero last night, so this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we're supposed to reach zero temperatures, and it's going to be kind of hard on our gardens. Last night, we covered up what we could, and we harvested what we could, but I'm sure everything's okay for now, but it won't be much longer. I'm surprised it's getting so cold. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to light a fire in the fireplace, warm up the house a little bit. It's quite a chill in here. I picked up this firewood bag the other day. I saw the Canadian Tire. I've always wanted one. It was on for $13. It was regular $25. So I thought I'd give it a try. And it's just because I want to, you know, I have to bring up my firewood from downstairs. Actually, we have a walkout basement. And I got to bring up the firewood. So. It'll carry up a few, you know, I could probably carry more in my arms, but this is probably a lot cleaner and easier. Ah, we'll, we'll try it out, we'll see how it works. We didn't have to worry about warming up the house yesterday. We were canning red pepper jelly, and we are cooking dinner, and we had all kinds of things going on in the kitchen all day, and it just warmed up in here really nice. We actually had to open up the windows. But here's a, to show you really quick, here's our red pepper jelly. Turned out really nice. And we had a lot of help from Peggy over at Page Family Homestead. And uh, we tried this over at their place on uh, Sunday night. It was just delicious. So we had to make it ourselves. We had a big box of red peppers. And uh, this is what we got. Well, we got more than this. But this is, this is what came out of it. It's just a beautiful sight, isn't it? We'll go down and we'll get some firewood. I'll throw this in recycle. We'll get this uh, fireplace warmed up for the first time this year. Okay, we'll go down here and go outside and we'll get ourselves some wood. I just can't believe how chilly it's getting. So if you guys know our channel at all, you know we have quite a bit of firewood. So my son and I, we brought all this wood around here earlier in the spring. So we're pretty full down here. This will last us a while. We're going to bring some more. And then over here, this is for our fireplace upstairs. It's a measly little pile, but that will grow too. So let's check out this new canvas tote. See how this works. See how, we, how, how much wood we can carry. I might have to cut up a few smaller pieces to get the fire going. This is only going to be for just this morning. Once you get it warmed up, it'll hold its heat after that and then the sun will probably come out today and I probably don't even really need a fire but we got a bit of a chill this morning and I'm just excited about trying this new tote. You know what, I'm starting to fit quite a bit of wood in here. I have four, six, I could fit more logs in here. But I'm not going to put more in there but because I don't need it all. So I got six there. I could easily carry more than that. So you know what? This is going to work out all right. At first it didn't look big enough, but it is. There we go. Nice little load of wood in there. And there's the big girl. She, this is the girl that heats the house all winter. Big wood furnace, Clayton wood furnace. And we have a backup. Well, actually the oil is supposed to be our primary, but we use the wood as our primary. And the oil, we just use it whenever, like it may come on through the night for a little bit. But that's about it. So most of the time it doesn't. We just strictly burn with wood. All right, we'll get started lighting this fire. So I'll we'll open up the damper all the way. Open up the door. Got a bit of ashes in there still. It's good to have a base in there. You don't want to clean it right out. It's good to have a base for the wood to sit on when you're starting a fire. First of all, we'll get some paper ready. You don't need a lot of paper, just enough to get it started. Then you throw your kit on top. I 
always like the stock knife. You can pin one one way and then the cross way the next level. Just, I don't know. I just find it holds the bet together better. Then I'll throw in those small pieces I cut. Put a bigger one in the middle to keep the weight balanced. A couple small ones. Another small one here. And another one here. Hopefully the weight doesn't knock down our pile. There we go, we're good. Put our newspaper over here. So now we're good, the damper is open, and all we need to do is light up the paper. And we'll have ourselves some heat. Although with me running around, chopping wood, gathering wood, gathering newspaper and everything, I think I've warmed up. <laughs> so we'll get it warmed up for Beth. She's chilly. And there we go. And I just leave the door open a little bit, let the air get to it. So while we're waiting for that to catch on, I'll fill up the kettle with some water. All right, you can start to hear that crackling. Now you don't want to fill your kettle up too high, because I did that once and it boiled, and it boiled over and was landing on here while it was hot on the top of the fireplace and was spitting and carrying on, made a bunch of noise. Now right, you can see that's going pretty good. I could probably close this door now. But we'll keep the damper open for just a little bit and I'll put the rest of the wood out of this canvas into our firewood holder over here. <clears throat> Try to make less possible masses I can. in there close that up take that outside shake it off just got one little piece there another one there that's it that's all the mess we got I'm gonna probably close this up a little bit so that wasn't too painful our first fire of the season. This will warm up the house just nicely and probably by 10 o'clock we won't even need to have the fire going anymore. We'll just let it burn out on its own. We'll have enough heat for the day until tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little warm-up video of ours and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you later.